seems to have fitted with some high energy. Use the left analog stick and aim the analog stick in one Remember to always shoot his blood while moving.
hell's looking at this place? Out in hot choice. That ghost over there contacted me on Spectre Wave Radio, and we've cut it. He's promised us a key if you can whack 50 chickens. I guess he needs them to make a big pot of gumbo, but he's scared of the bob toad roosters. Be careful, or they'll blow you to bits. Think you can do it?
Why try and sneak on the lid of that cauldron to build up steam pressure? I'm sure it'll work to launch you up into this ruby. Cooking army of ghosts is in a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, Sly. I see your mouth a moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well, if Jaws needs blah, let them flop. See you in the next world, Sly. Hooper. Come back here. You can't run away forever. Quite true. Quite true. Why don't I have my servant, Jumli, put you over here? All right. What's the catch? Oh, I must just in my life to all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well, I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get out. <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough.
capital T. You go poking around his stronghold in China, you're likely to get poked back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you, I think I'll manage. Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes from my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of Zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Travel plans to China have all been... The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of Western China. You can bet the Panda King lit the fuse. I've got to find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town.
I got a real headache figuring this one out. Input 578. top of that giant statue, but unfortunately it's obstructed by this reinforced ceiling hatch. No problem. They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it. station, use the left analog stick to aim and the square button to fire. Right on. I'll keep him covered. I'm going in, Sly.
Well, this looks like a good place to try out your new invisibility move. Hold down the circle button to drop out of sight. While invisible, nothing can see you. Not lasers, not circles, not guards. Oh, and if the guards already see you, then the invisibility trick won't work on them. This 
Pagoda is some kind of huge gunpowder production plant. Judging by the scale, the pan... Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 